In this video, we will be solving rational inequalities. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that your problem is set to zero. So that step's already done for us is greater than or equal to zero. The next step is we want to find the zeros. So the way we do that is we set our numerator equal to zero. So x minus five is equal to zero. So we get five. The third step that we want to do is set your denominator equal to zero. So you're trying to find your vertical asymptotes. So x plus three is equal to zero. So x is equal to a negative three. So we make our number line, <laughs> a straight one hopefully, that is just like how we do for polynomial inequalities. And what we need to know is that for this problem, it's set greater than or equal to zero. So that means I can be equal to my zero of five. So we're gonna put a closed circle on that. But you can never be equal to your asymptote because if X is a negative three and we plug that into our problem, negative three plus three is zero and zero in our denominator is undefined. So this, we have an open circle at the value of negative three. So now what we want to do is to test a value in each region. So if I test something on the left of negative three, let's say negative four, I will have negative four minus five, which gives me negative nine. And then I would have negative four plus three, which gives me negative one. So a negative divided by a negative makes a positive. So anything on the left-hand side, I'm going to have a positive result for my answer. Then I need to test the value in between negative 3 and 5, so let's test 0. So 0 minus 5 gives us negative 5, and 0 plus 3 gives us 3. So a negative divided by a positive is a negative. So anything in between negative 3 and 5 is a negative. Then I want to test the value on the right of 5, so let's test, say, 6. So six minus five gives us one, and six plus three gives us nine. So anything to the right of five is gonna give us a positive solution. So if we go back to our original problem, we're looking where is this rational expression greater than or equal to zero? So numbers that are greater than or equal to zero are positive. So positive results are five and greater, and positive results are less than negative three. So our interval notation for this is negative infinity to negative three. We have parentheses because we can't actually use negative three. That makes our denominator zero. Union with, we have a bracket on our five to positive infinity. Made with DoodleCast Pro.